So today we're gonna do something a little different. We might actually start on a project later in this video, depending on how long it takes. We'll see, I'm not entirely sure, but we have a dozer. We're gonna try and fill in a tank, uh, move a ton of dirt. It's gonna take a while. So we're gonna go over there and do that here in a little bit. And it's probably gonna be a funny video because I'm not exactly great with the dozer. I used to run the dozer quite a bit a long time ago, uh, but it's been a while, but hopefully it's like riding a bike and it comes right back to me because we got a lot to do. But before we do that, I wanna talk a little bit about the project we might be doing later today or here pretty soon. There's some nice pallets of bell twine for us. I think we got quite a bit. This should last us a while, but we do turn through this. And something else we also turn through is right back here which we only have one, it seems like, is the wrapping for the round bells. So we need to make sure we definitely get some more of these because these also tend to go pretty quick. I mean, it looks like we only have one here. Make sure we get some more of those. But we got the kids' tractors right here, both of them ready to rock. We got the trailers on because that's what we did last. And because of that, as you can tell, that means hay season is coming. So we have mower number one, we have mower number two. They both work, they work great. What are we next in the project? That's right, we're missing a hay rake. So that's what we're gonna make next, either in this video or later on here very soon. I wanna make a hay rake. I wanna have two spinners, like our traditional hay rake with the forks on them. So there's two ways I can do this. There's one, I can do it with the same mower or weed eater, I guess, that I used on both of their mowers. We could do it that way and I could take the mower head off and it has a little stud that sticks out and we can run it off of that. So flip the switch and that'll spin, but I'm worried that that's gonna spin too fast and that's gonna cause issues. I mean, we don't wanna, you know, hay rigs typically don't spin super fast. I wish I mean that thing's gonna be, it's gonna be way too fast, I think. Or we can try and do like a chain and a sprocket, kind of like how a, a bike operates. And as the tire moves on the rake, we have a chain and a sprocket that runs and it, slowly spins it like that. I think that might be their better route, but I feel like that might be too slow. So I go back and forth. I'm not entirely sure. So I'm gonna weigh on you guys. Cause even if I do start the rake today, I probably won't get to that point. So let me know. Electric, where I use a weed eater, where it might spin too fast or mechanical, where we use kind of like a chain that runs off when the tires move, which might be too slow. Let me know your thoughts. I'm, I'm very interested on how we do that, but this is what we have so far. We got both of our mowers. We got a big plow set, which I still need to adjust a little bit. It works great, but it, there's a few minor adjustments I need to make to it. We have obviously both trailers. We have that extra trailer. We're missing something. There's also something else here that it's just not here, but we're gonna be building a lot more stuff too. Also, while I'm on the subject of building stuff, we're gonna do the rake and the next we're gonna do a baler or a loading wagon of some sort. But in between all of that, that's all of our hay stuff. Any ideas, anything else, anything. Uh, I thought about maybe doing like a good, like a, something that spreads seed or fertilizer or something like that. Maybe something that actually has like a water pump on it. We could spray water, maybe like to clean their tractors or anything with. There's tons of stuff we can do. Any ideas in the comments, Instagram, uh, Hudson's Playground, it'll all be in the description as long as where you can go buy a merch. So go give that a shot too. I'm ready to get to work on some dozer action though. So let's go check out the dozer, get to work on it for a little bit and maybe we'll build something later today. I'm not too sure, let's see. Before we get going out here, you might wonder what's on the back of our John Deere 4455. And let me tell you, it's not supposed to look like that. Let me show you. So we ended up rolling the ripper off the back of that. Yeah, that's supposed to be on the back. It broke it off, so we'll have to get that repaired. But we're pretty much done with this. So you might have seen it in one of our other videos before, but all this used to be brush. There's a huge amount of dirt. We've been working on getting that cleared and getting it pushed into a lake over there, which I'm gonna show you. And the reason we're doing this is our pivot system, which you might be able to see over there. When it comes around, it comes through here. You can see one of the tracks right here. And this used to go right through that. It's been tons of issues. So we're getting this all covered up. That way we can start putting some hay because our hay field's right here. And we can kind of bring this in over here, get all this filled in. It should be pretty good. Let's go take a look over here. So we've been using this dozer and our front end loader. And we've been bringing all the dirt over here. We already got it probably about at, almost halfway filled up. And what we're doing, let me go through all this dirt right here, is we're filling up this little lake. It's an old lake. We used to irrigate at it. We don't anymore. We have a different lake that we use. So we're filling this bad boy up. This is actually a place, let's come down here. And the way we're doing, the way we're doing it like this, by having the dirt piled way behind us, and we're slowly pushing it forward, because this is the soupiest, muddiest, ah, stuff. I almost fell in the mud there. Soupiest, muddiest stuff you will ever see in your entire life. Uh, let me see, let me grab a rock, I'll even show you. This is disgusting. So we're trying not to get a dozer or our huge front end loader stuck, because that's never really fun, but check this out. Yeah, you don't want to get a dozer in there. It's usually 
it's usually not good. We get it even kind of close and you can just feel it start to sink already. So we're being very cautious with this. I don't know how deep it is out in the middle of there. Maybe this stick. So it's kind of a big stick. Let's see. Let's see if I can stick it in the ground. I don't know if I can, I'll try. Oh, that was terrible. That was terrible. So the plan is to get this thing filled up. My brother's on the dozer currently. We'll go check him out, see what he's got going on. And then I'm gonna hop on it here in a little bit when he goes to lunch. And I'm gonna make a mess because I'm not very good with dozers. I've only driven them every now and then. It's not hard to push dirt. The hard part with the dozers is making it look nice. So I'm not too worried about it because we're not trying to make it look nice yet. I'll let them worry about all that. I'm just gonna make a mess and push some dirt. Let's go check it out. So we're using the dozer to push all the dirt to a pile so the front end loader can pick it up and dump it over there because this dirt is extremely hard. And as you see, it's gonna struggle to even cut off just a little bit. All right, it's my turn to make a mess. Let's get in the dozer. He asked if I needed help. I said no. We're gonna figure it out by ourselves. Let's see. All right, so we got the turtle and the rabbit, obviously, RPMs. I'm assuming, let's put that down. Okay, that's the Ford. And this says the, yeah, yeah, this is easy mode. All right, let's get started, come on. I'm putting this bad boy to the test because it might not look like we have a lot of dirt here, but there is a lot of dirt here and it's very hard. So I'm going to scrape a little bit, but I'm scraping as much as I can and uh, we're going to put it to work. So let's get after it. Okay, I'm having way too much fun with the dozer, so I'm not gonna go back to the farm and get started on our new project. I'm kind of enjoying doing this. I'll do this probably, it's probably gonna take us a solid three or four days to get this thing finished. So I'm gonna enjoy this. Maybe I'll make another video of me playing with this, but it'll be like a bonus video. It'll probably be on a Wednesday or something, not on a Saturday like I usually do. Um, so next Saturday will probably be me starting our new project. Probably, I'm not, I'm not totally sure. I'm um, taking a little break before I get back to starting more projects. You know, get kind of busy with all the farm stuff. Um, so we'll see, but it should be, should be, should be. Don't hold me to it though. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget Hudson'sPlayground.com for some merch before it's gone forever. If you spend over $50, you have a high chance of me, Hudson Holly, sending videos, thanking you for buying our stuff. We've already done it to a lot of people. Uh, we're going to keep doing that too. So thank you guys. And until next time, bye.